Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. On the bright side, we've got a full uh, empty board. Nobody's on, the, nobody's on the line, and now's the time to call in. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the longevity products, the longevity business, a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. 6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing those, and I know they're out there because I get the letters all the time. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, and if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website as well for a one-time $25 fee. You can be an entrepreneur, start your own business, make as much or as little money as you want, $100 a month, $1,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $100,000 a month. There are people I know making that much money in, uh, in longevity, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program as well as, as, well as a good business opportunity, all for a one-time $25 fee. If you're interested in making some money and helping change the world at the fundamental level of health, longevity is a business you at least want to check out. At least you want to be informed about. Get more inform you can get more information by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or hitting the join the team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, we are talking about the idea of stress, not from the perspective that we usually hear about stress, that is how you have to avoid stress or minimize stress or reduce stress. I have a more nuanced view of this idea of stress. It's not that you want to avoid stress, it's that you want to leverage it, that you want to use it, that you want to exploit it, that you want to take advantage of it. And that, more specifically, you want to take advantage of the growth-inducing effects of stress. Stress can be our friend. Stress can be a very important and functional component of a good health regimen, as we know from exercise. Exercise is stress. And that same benefit that you get when you stress your muscles and connective tissue in the gym, when you're on the exercise bike or when you're lifting weights, that same beneficial effect occurs everywhere in the body. The biological notion that small amounts of duress are actually beneficial is called hormesis. Hormesis actually refers to small amounts of poison, but the same idea is, the idea is still the same. Burden is not necessarily an issue. Overburden can be an issue, but there's a sweet spot of burden. There's a sweet spot of stress. Hormesis is the idea that biological systems respond positively to exposure to toxins and radiation and of various chemicals. I call exercise a type of hormesis. It's not really expo when you're exercising, you're not really exposing your body to chemicals directly, but or toxic chemicals. But you are secondarily because when you lift your weights, your muscles are tearing and you're releasing inflammatory factors. Free radicals are generated. The uh, exercise 
is really about free radicals in their oxidants, if you will, that are produced in response to damage that end up turning on protein synthesis. And by the way, this is especially beneficial for older folks. Leveraging the power of exercise is incredibly important as we get older. Most of us do the opposite. Most of us, as we get older, we become sedentary. We become resistant to putting stress on the body. Ironically, because as we get older, our body is secreting more cortisol, so we have more stress biochemically, but most of us are resistant to the idea of taking advantage of exercise or stress as we get older. But it turns out that older folks need to exercise even more than younger folks do. We all need to exercise a little bit because a little bit of stress turns things on. But as we get older and the body has a tendency to uh, break down and, and, and uh, the accumulation of the forces of entropy take, take over and body just sort of dissolves, exercise becomes really important. Stimulation becomes really important. It's true about every single system in the body. Stimulation mentally becomes important as we get older because of the tendency of, uh, of the brain to, to become uh, uh, less plastic, less has, it has a tendency to grow and develop a little bit less. Brain is always developing and growing. It's called neuroplasticity. Technically the brain is plastic. And as we learn, has a plastic nature. And as we learn things, the brain kind of becomes more sophisticated. It becomes uh, better able to deliver blood to little nooks and crannies. That's called neuroplasticity. As we get older, that kind of, uh, that doesn't happen as much. And that's one of the reasons why we become forgetful as we get older. That's one of the reasons why we get dementia as we get older. You can exercise your brain by reading different books, reading books in general, listening to different types of music, providing novelty to the body, novelty to the brain. A great strategy for stressing the brain out, whether you're young or old, is to brush your teeth with your opposite hand or to do anything with your opposite hand. Write with your opposite hand. Writing with the opposite hand creates a kind of stress on the brain that results in neuroplasticity, growth, better uh, blood supply, less likelihood of dementia and memory problems as you get older. Just practicing writing with your left hand if you're a righty or the vice versa. New ideas stimulate the brain. New ideas create a stress on the brain. That's why a lot of people don't like to have, the same way a lot of people don't like to exercise, a lot of people don't want to hear new ideas. If you're stuck in the same old ideas, if you're in your 40s or 50s and 60s and you have the same ideas that you had when you were in your 30s, you may want to examine that. We have a resistance to hearing different things because it's kind of like a change. It's sort of like a stress. It's kind of like an exercise, but like an exercise, it builds your brain. New ideas. Go uh, uh, visiting uh, different countries, learning a different language. All of these provide, uh, uh, put a stress on our central nervous system, on our brain, but in the long run, they help us develop a better brain. That's the idea of hormesis. That's the idea of what doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. There's also a very important skin connection to hormesis or what doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. Correct stresses, appropriate stresses, Always in balance with rest, extra rest. Stress always needs to be balanced with rest. In fact, you want way more rest than stress, but correct amount of stress, correct stimulation on the skin in bursts, similar to how you want to exercise in bursts. This kind of uh, stimulation on the skin, exercising the skin can help prevent the formation of uh, wrinkles and fine lines. It can help reverse the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. If we understand the concept of exercise and combine it with an understanding of the biology of the skin, we can learn to literally exercise our skin, like we exercise our brain, like we exercise our muscles, like we exercise other, other systems in the body. If you want to have healthy, beautiful skin, you got to exercise it. And I will tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. If you've, if you've listened to me in the past, you know what I'm going to say. It's, it's, not, it's something everybody knows about, but we never really think about it as exercise. We never really think about uh, the concept of growing more connective tissue, more collagen, more elastin, more moisture factors, thicker, more robust skin as a function of exercise. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010, 6010 is our number. We'll return with more good health information on The Bright Side right after this. This... We are back. 
back on the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com, also benfuchsarchive.com. You can purchase Longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team from pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call 866-735-2470 for more information. You can purchase Longevity products as well by calling 866-735-2470. And our truth treatment products are all available at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal Sea Serum, and Truth Transdermal Sea Balm. Soon, more Truth products uh, over the coming um, few months or so, we're going to start releasing some new truth treatment products, truth, uh, truth treatment exfoliators and uh, cleansers, etc. So uh, keep checking truthtreatments.com for more information, truthtreatments.com. Speaking of skin, we're talking about uh, ways that you can take advantage of exercising, uh, of the exercise phenomena to uh, make your skin beautiful and youthful and smooth and wrinkle free you can exercise your skin and just like you grow tissue when you exercise in the gym just like you improve neuroplasticity in the the growth of blood vessels and the secretion of ox the, the uh, delivery of oxygen and and nutrients and detoxification when you think of new ideas or when you you you, you experiment with different philosophies or musics or languages or read new books with your brain you can do the same thing for your skin it should come as no surprise. We always say the skin is the body's largest organ. It's an organ like any other system in the body, and it responds like other systems in the body do uh, to exercise, to stress, and to, to, uh, as well as to nutrition. We've talked a lot about nutrition for the skin. We haven't really talked as much about exercising the skin, but they're both important. Just like you can exercise your body and nutrient your body, and just like you want to nutrient your body after you exercise your body, that's the best time to do your nutritional supplements. The same is true about the skin. When you come home from the gym, that's when you want to do your Beyond Tangy Tangerine and your uh, Keto FX uh, or, or Slender FX or Protein Powder or B Vitamins. Whatever it is you're doing, you want to do them when you come home from the gym especially. Yeah, you want to do them other times, but if you take protein and essential fats and vitamins when you come home from the gym, your body will suck those nutrients up rapidly because it's in a deficiency state, a relative deficiency state. It's burnt through its nutrients while you're in the gym. Same thing if you want to improve mental health or brain health issues. If you're doing brain exercises, for example, when you're done doing your brain exercises, go get you some Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Same thing is true about the skin. After you exercise your skin, you want to apply your topical vitamin C and topical, uh, topical vitamin A and retinol. So how do you exercise the skin? How do you stimulate the skin? Well, you can do it a lot of different ways. You can take a washcloth and do it. If you just take a washcloth and rub your face, rub your body uh, once a day or once every couple of days, you're going to stimulate blood supply. You're going to improve the circulation of the lymph. You're going to stimulate the growth of new cells as you scrub away the old dead cells off the surface. Scrubbing the dead cells off the surface sends a signal down to the bottom that says, hey, let's get some more production here. Shingles are missing from the roof. Scrubbing the surface of the skin with a washcloth stimulates tissue down deep below, the connective tissue, the collagen, the elastin. You do something called dry brushing. For centuries, women have actually known about dry brushing. Dry brushing not only improves circulation and the lymph, it's a great detox strategy. You take a dry brushing, by the way, is just take a brush and you just brush you, without any kind of uh, water or anything. Just brush your skin. It will also help stimulate the removal of dead skin cells. That's called exfoliation. It will improve exfoliation. And exfoliation also turns on the growth of, uh, of new cells as well as new connective tissue, new collagen, new elastin. Something as simple as a washcloth or dry brush. If you go to an esthetician or a salon, they may shoot little, little crystals at your skin. That's called microderm abrasion. Microderm abrasion is marketed as a strategy for getting rid of dark spots or blemishes maybe or scarring, improving the appearance of scarring. But microderm abrasion, because it has an, uh, the, little, the little particles that are shot at your skin, can help stimulate exfoliation. It will also help exercise the, the uh, tissue beneath. You can get thicker connective tissue with microderm abrasion. However, microderm, yeah, that works. Dry brush, yeah, that works. Washcloth works. 
enzymes can work. But my favorite way to exfoliate the surface of the skin, to exercise the skin, is to use low pH, that is acidic substances. The pH of the skin is somewhat acidic. Remember, pH is a measurement of acid, just a quick review. pH is a measurement of acid. The pH scale goes from 0 to 14, 0 being extremely acid, 14 being extremely non-acid or alkaline is the technical term. Some people say base, acid base or acid alkaline. Neutral is 7, 0 to 14 are the extremes, neutral is 7, water is 7 supposedly, it's supposed to be 7. The inside of the body, as most of you guys know, because we've been people have been talking about this for years, the inside of the body has to be alkaline. The blood, I should say, has to be alkaline. 7.35 to 7.45, somewhere in there, slightly alkaline, very, very slightly alkaline. And it's pretty it's pretty tightly regulated in there. If it goes too much past seven lower than 7.35, you don't feel so good. If it goes too much above 7.45, you don't feel so good. That's a tight little window where the pH needs to be controlled. And by the way, the best way to change your blood pH has nothing to do with food. And I know there's all these crazy non-scientific books written by well-meaning people mostly who tell you that you got to eat certain foods to eat for pH. That's not how pH is regulated in the body. It's true that electrolytes and minerals can help uh, are part of the pH buffering system in the blood. That is true. And it is true that you get electrolytes and, and certain minerals from food. So I guess you could say that in that way, foods have an effect on pH, but on blood pH. But uh, by far and away, the most important way to keep your blood alkaline is to oxygenate. Oxygen represents alkalinity and carbon dioxide, which you blow off in your exhale, represents acidity. So by breathing in alkalinity and breathing out acidity, you stabilize your pH and you do pretty quickly. And that, this, by the way, accounts in large part for the relaxing effects associated with, with slow, deep breathing. And it's also why you want to exhale a little bit more than you inhale. Exhalation not only blows off carbon dioxide, by the way, it also blows off toxicity. So respiration is the way, is the primary way that we're supposed to keep the inside of our body alkaline. Alkaline, the blood should be al uh, slightly alkaline. Alkaline represents a vacuum. Al uh, sub substances that have a higher pH are missing energy. So they have like a empty space where energy should be. And because nature abhors a vacuum, as it is said, that empty space pulls in energy. So the inside of the, the body has to be in this kind of very, very, very slightly energy deficient state so it can pull in energy from food. On the other hand, the outside of the body, the skin is the exact opposite. The skin is in a battle with the environment. It's constantly resisting the environment. It's a barrier. That's its job is to resist. So the skin should be pushing out energy, not sucking it in. You don't want the skin sucking things in. You want it pushing out. Inside the body, you want it sucking in so you can get energy from food. Outside the body and the skin, you want pushing out. And that's why the skin has a low pH. It's relatively, uh, it's not super low, but it's slightly acidic, around 4.5 to uh, 4 to 5.5, somewhere in there. This is very important when it comes to applying topical skincare products because you want the pH of the skin to be acidic, not alkaline. And most skincare products are actually alkaline, not acidic which is kind of interesting. And we will talk about that as we continue talking about the skin and hormesis and the idea of stress being our friend, stimulating, and cortisol, which we will continue talking about on our next Bright Side episode. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back with your phone calls right after. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com and Ben Fuchs archives.com, benfuchsarchive.com as well. I've got search engines on both websites, and we also have uh, blog posts and news stories up at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. The longevity products are up as well, and also uh, you can join the Brightside Ben team right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call 866-735-2470 for more information. 866-735-2470 for more information on joining the Brightside Ben team. Or if you want to purchase longevity products, you can also go to truthtreatments.com. If you want to check out our truth treatment products, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with 
lots of vitamin C and vitamin A, lots of the good stuff, and never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicon, water, oil, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, any of our truth treatment products. They are all at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, we've got... Uh, an empty board. Nobody's on the line, so we're just going to read some stories. If you have questions, uh, if you want to get on uh, on board, now's the time to call 844 236 6010. 844 236 6010. I got a bunch of cool stories here we could read. Uh, and tomorrow we'll continue talking about my favorite way to stimulate the skin, my favorite way to exercise the skin. You could do this from the comfort of your own bathroom. You don't need to have anybody treating you, although there are esthetician treatments uh, that can leverage the power of skin exercise. We will continue talking about that tomorrow on the bright side. And by the way, if you have, you don't just have to have uh, uh, wrinkles or fine lines, or you don't just have to be concerned about anti-aging when it comes to benefiting from exercising the skin. If you exercise the skin, stimulate the skin, you can improve the skin texture and you can improve the appearance of blemishes and uh, pimples and acne by uh, correct exercising of the skin. So kids can benefit from skin exercise as well as, as much as uh, older folks can. We'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue on the bright side, talking about uh, hormesis exercise and the skin all as it regards cortisol, stress hormone, or, or I should say stress management hormone, cortisol. All right, from the Journal of Investigative Dermatology, polycystic ovarian syndrome linked with HS. HS is a, a abbreviation for hydradenitis superativa, which is a really awful skin condition where you get these big welts and blisters and, and pus-filled cysts in your sweat glands. It's like a very, 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 very bad case of acne, uh, but it's not really acne. And nobody knows what to do about it. Dermatologists don't know what to do about it. Patients don't know what to do about it. It can be very painful and debilitating as well as cosmetically unattractive. And it's, it's unfortunate because it's just a, the plain, the same old thing that happens to the body when we break down in any way. And it's a classic example of the generic nature of disease, the generic nature of breakdown the generic nature of what uh, of what we consider to be doctor a doctor visit required health challenge it's all generic it's all the same stuff and this uh, this study from the journal Invest of investigative dermatology published february 4th is really what the, it, this highlights this idea polycystic ovarian syndrome pcos is a condition that affects women PCOS is a condition that affects women who have blood sugar problems and estrogen problems. Blood sugar and estrogen are the two last two points on our triangle of disease. So when you think PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which can be marked by blood, uh, technically called pre uh, technically a form of prediabetes, but women who have PCOS have lost, have cysts, as the name implies, polycystic ovaries. They have lots of cysts on their ovaries. They have weight problems. They have body hair. They have facial hair, they have acne, hair loss, they're hypothyroid. It's really a, a syndrome that affects every part of the body, and it starts in the blood sugar system and the uh, female hormone system, which is linked to digestion. There's your triangle of disease, people, right there. PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, couldn't be a more classic example of uh, how the triangle of disease affects health. And now it's linked, PCOS, thus the triangle, with HS, hydradenitis superativa. You gotta do a little bit of math here to figure the thing out, but it isn't that hard. If PCOS is connected to HS to such a significant uh, degree that according to this study, the likelihood of having hydradenitis superativa or HS, uh, the likelihood of HS patients having PCOS, I should say, was two and a half times, nearly two and a half times. So in other words, if you had one, you're two and a half times likely to have the other. Prevalence of PCOS among patients with HS was 9% compared to 3% in patients without HS. Three times more likely, more likely to happen together. What I'm saying here, folks, is where you, th remember, healing principle number one, where you see the disease, where you see the problem is not where the problem is. If you go, if somebody had this condition, they would logically and understandably go to a dermatologist. And a dermatologist wouldn't understand what to do because the problem isn't on the skin. It's in the metabolism. It's in the chemistry. The good news is, is who's in charge of the metabolism? Who's in charge of the chemistry? We are. There's no drugs that can help, but we can do it. 
But we got to understand this generic nature of disease. By the way, the connection between health challenges that shows up between psoriasis and arthritis, between heart disease and diabetes, between PCOS and HS, this, the, the combination of these health challenges is called, called comorbidity. And it's a very important word to understand when it comes to health. Comorbidity refers to the fact that things happen together. The body falls apart as a system. It doesn't fall apart in just one place. So if you have a problem in one place, likely you're going to have it in other places, just like when, you're, when your walls start caving in. If they're caving in on the left-hand upper, uh, on the upper left-hand corner, they're going to probably start caving in on the right, upper right-hand corner eventually too. It doesn't matter where the breakdown is. The breakdowns are always going to be generic. They're going to involve the same fundamental concepts underneath. This is so important to understand because until we do, there will be a medical model that will predate, predate on us, predatory medical model that will exploit our ignorance. And I'm not blaming the doctors here. I'm blaming the model. The model exploits our ignorance. It is ignorant itself. And even worse, it takes advantage of our ignorance. And if we don't understand how the body works, we're just going to be sheep led to slaughter. Here's another good one for you. And we'll get your calls here in just a sec. Uh, this is from Medscape. Women should not undergo screening for ovarian cancer if they do not have signs or symptoms of disease, as it does not improve survival, but may expose women unnecessarily to surgical complications. Now, this is another example of how we are manipulated by the medical model. Everybody knows they have to have the diagnostics, cancer screens, cancer diagnostics, mammograms. But not only do the tests don't work, according to this study, you get all kinds of false positives, but people get surgically manipulated, have their ovarian ovaries removed and their female, their female organs removed based on, on a test or a diagnostic that is well known to produce false positives. And speaking of the disaster that is the modern medical model, Healthcare spending accelerating, 19.7% of economy by 2026. 20% .20 of our money is going to the doctors and the hospitals and the insurance companies, and we're not getting better. We're getting sicker. $5.7 trillion by 2026. It is $3.5 trillion now. What can we do with $3.5 trillion? All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back with your phone calls. Got lines open, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll return right after this. The final... Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number, and it is time to hit the phones. Let's go to Michigan and say good morning to Diana. Hello, Diana. Hello, Ben. What's going on in Michigan today? Uh, well, what I'm calling about is uh, last August, um, I had quadruple bypass heart surgery. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You're, do, you're doing all right? Yeah, I was doing awesome and now they say my gallbladder's bad <laughs> they want to take that and, out huh they want to yeah, take it out they want to take and i know how you feel about that and they no organs are there's no extra organs there now do you have stones three quarters full and are, yeah. are you in any pain oh yeah okay well here's the deal if you're in pain that's one thing. And I, when they take the gallbladder out, you won't have the pain. However, you'll be shortening your life and running high risks for other diseases. The gallbladder is not an extra organ. The reason it gets clogged is because of the same reason that everything gets clogged in the body is because of toxicity. The gallbladder is a bag of bile. And bile is critical not just for the digestive system and for helping us process our fats and our fatty vitamins and our essential fatty acids, but the interesting thing about bile that gets very, and, and I consider bile to be, along with the blood, the most important fluid in the body, and it is derived from the blood, actually. Uh, it, the, the thing about the, uh, the bile, the gallbladder and, the, and bile that is underappreciated is the fact that bile cleans out hormones and drugs, and you're probably on a slew of drugs, right? No. I You're not on them. any? You don't take no. any meds? No meds at no. all? Well, good no. for you. I, I right. listen right. to you. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Good. Well, the bile also is supposed to clear out excess estrogen. And uh, estrogen is a very interesting hormone. And obviously, it's an important hormone. But it's supposed to break down and get eliminated from the body quickly. Because 
in between uh, the breakdown products of estrogen can be very stressful on the body and they can be responsible for a whole mess of, of, of physiologic problems from autoimmunity to inflammation to cancer uh, to uh, d uh, decreased uh, longevity and so estrogen has to get cleared out of the body quickly bile is responsible for that now you still be making bile without a gallbladder but you'll be missing a, a big source of it the way the, the way the, the bile system works is it's made in the liver and then there's a little a little tube that runs from the liver to the gallbladder and that fills up the gallbladder and then when you eat food the food when it comes into your intestine from your stomach triggers the, re the release of bile from the gallbladder without a gallbladder that ain't happening that means right. that your body is now depending on the little trickle that comes from your liver and that's why doctors think it's okay to take the gallbladder out because there is a little trickle that will come from the liver into the intestine but it's nowhere near enough so here's what you got to do my dear your bile your uh, gallbladder is, is forming stones because your bile is is dirty it's sludgy it's got lots of stuff it's trying to clear out so you got to help it and a couple of ways that okay. you can do it first of all i would be taking bile salts and the ultimate enzymes and doc doc calls that a gallbladder in a bottle and, and the reason is is because it's got bile in there so make sure you're using your ultimate enzymes with all of your meals and then you also want to start using lecithin granules you know what those are lecithin have you heard of that L-E-C-I-T-H-I-N, yeah. either the granules or the capsules. Lecithin is like a, a, one of the major components of bile. Here's something interesting. Bile is actually a form of cholesterol, or at least it's, it's derived from cholesterol. So you got to make sure you're making enough cholesterol. And if you're on a statin drug, that's probably not going to happen. Luckily, they didn't put you on a statin drug. I'm surprised. Well, no, they, usually they try. Do. They try. Okay. My okay. <laughs> to right. 700. All right. Well, you're but smart, I, okay, because you well, need your cholesterol. You. You need your cholesterol, uh, so making sure you're uh, supporting cholesterol production is more important than eliminating cholesterol, and that means liver health. Cholesterol is largely made in the liver, so any sh you should got to be staying away from sugar, which messes up the liver. You got to be staying away from problem foods, also mess up the liver. You should be using your nightly essence probiotics, which can help support liver health. Also, fiber on a daily basis, grind up flaxseed fiber and maybe do a teaspoon or two every single day. You want to be keeping your bowel movements as regular as possible magnesium is also going to be very important for the heart as well as for uh, for keeping yourself regular so maybe do the osteo FX I would be doing the fucoid Z which is a blood cleanser remember your, your problem all problems begin with toxic dirty blood and the fucoid Z has so many wonderful benefits for all kinds of health challenges because it cleans out the blood it's like a roto rooter for the blood so making sure you're using your uh, your uh, fucoid z and then there's an enzyme that's in the probiotics called natokinase in the nightly essence called natokinase that can help but you can also get extra natokinase that can also help clear the blood if you want to do one more thing if i were you i would be getting chelation therapy with uh uh, either going to a chiropractor or a naturopath and having them inject chelating agents into you and cleaning out the blood that way. Or you can use nutritional chelation therapy with the ultimate selenium, which is chelating, uh, also vitamin C. High doses of vitamin C can be chelating. Uh, vitamin E may have some chelating benefits. Algae has chelating effects. Chlorophyll has chelating effects, and that can help clean the blood as well. So got lots of strategies there before they doctors just take out your gallbladder. Did your doctor tell you any of the things I just told you? Probably not. Oh he no! Just said, We're I asked him what I could do. Take it. They said the only thing you can do is we could make it better. That's all they can do is take it out. Right. That's all they could do. And, and in fairness, he believes that's all he can do. He doesn't know any of the stuff I'm talking about here. And in fact, he's probably, if he, heard me, if he heard me saying it, he'd be laughing. He'd be saying, I don't have a, that Ben, he's just a pharmacist. He doesn't know what he's talking about. We got to take your gallbladder out. So I guess caveat emptor, let the buyer beware. You got to just take all the information from me and from your doctor and from everywhere else and run it through your, your Diana filter and uh, see, what, see where the truth is. And, and in my humble opinion, it's always going to involve do no harm, which means nutrition, uh, as much nutritional and dietary and lifestyle strategies, uh, as many as you can use. All right, so I want to take one more call. Does that, do you have any, another answer. question? Oh, there's tons. Yeah, okay, well, I, I belong to your, I get uh, deliveries every month of my- Good, critical uh, health news? No. Um, the drink. Oh, the, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, you're, so, I'm on your heart medicine, your heart tablets, or your mixture of vitamins for good. heart. 
Good. I suggest so, go to brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com and listen to what I just told you. I told you a whole ton of information. Maybe take notes, uh, and then uh, right. even if you just do, even if you just do a, a few of those things, just the lecithin or the ultimate enzymes, you're going to be better off. Ultimate All right. God enzyme. bless you, my dear Diana. Thank I hope you. everything works out for you. Take care. All right. Let's go to Robert in Ontario. I assume Canada. Robert. Yes. Hello. Uh, there. Hey, Robert. Um, do you have anything for carpal tunnel? Yes, carpal tunnel is an inflammatory condition that occurs in that little area by your wrist where you do repetitive movements. The idea is not to eliminate the repetitive movements. The idea is to reduce the inflammation. You do it in, uh, from several directions. Number one, you take an anti-inflammatory nutrients. Vitamin E is wonderfully anti-inflammatory. I would be using uh, 400 international units a day of vitamin E a day. Alpha lipoic acid can also be helpful. Uh, 400, that's a little expensive, but it's well worth it. 400 milligrams grams a day. Make absolutely sure you're taking in your molecules of inflammation and anti-inflammation or your nutritional molecules of inflammation and anti-inflammation. That is your essential fatty acids, your EFAs. Ultimate EFA or ultimate EFA plus provides you with the, the raw materials for making these inflammatory and anti-inflammatory factors. They're a must-have, especially if you're dealing with carpal tunnel or any kind of inflammatory condition. I'd be doing 9 to 12 capsules a day. I would also be throwing in, if I were you, bone broth protein or bone broth, chicken soup, aloe vera can also help. The uh, various factors that are in bone broth and in aloe vera can help regenerate and rebuild cartilage and connective tissue. Speaking of regenerating and rebuilding cartilage and connective tissue, don't forget your glucogels, glucogel caps. And whenever you do your glucogel caps, you always want to do them with Beyond Tangy Tangerine, there's a very important connection between the building of connective tissue and vitamin C. So if you do your glucosamine, your glucogel caps, you're going to get the raw materials for making connective tissue, but the vitamin C from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, that acts like a little key to turn on the connective tissue machinery uh, the, to ignite or uh, turn on the ignition of the connective tissue machinery. So with your glucogel caps, you always want to use uh, your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And then last but most certainly not, there's a lot. I'm just going to cut to the chase here. There's so many more things I could say, but uh, this is also very helpful. Uh, the ultimate enzymes taken on an empty stomach have wonderful anti-inflammatory benefits if you're dealing with carpal tunnel syndrome or arthritis or pre and post surgery, even dental pain, back pain. Even, I've even heard people get benefits from digestive enzymes, from the ultimate enzymes, taken on an empty stomach when you have migraine pain. So taking digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach, you take them with a full stomach, they'll help you digest your food, but on an empty stomach, they can have some really neat anti-inflammatory, anti-pain benefits. Thanks for your call, Robert. Hope we helped you. And that is all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products. And our website, truthtreatments.com, for our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Transdermal C Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. They're all up at truthtreatments.com. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.